Music theory does not limit your creative potential. Music theory is the analysis of how harmony, rhythm, and form work in music. It's not the foundation on which they're created. Now there's more to it than just harmony, and rhythm, and form, but that's what it focuses on because those have the most information, the most possibilities in them. So you've got other things like articulation, tempo, volume, you know, register, and <laughs> those things don't have as much variation in them, okay? So articulation, let's take that for an example. You might be, be able to articulate a note in 12 different ways. That's a lot of ways, right? But there's a lot more than 12 different rhythms, right? There's so many more than 12 different rhythms. There's so many more than 12 different possible harmonies. You see what I'm saying? Like there's so much more possibility within rhythm and harmony and form. Um, and that's why music theory focuses on them. Those other things, articulation, tempo, volume, register, there is music theory that describes them, but it's not very important to learn because you kind of just get it already. You know, that there's so much there. There's so much there in, in harmony and rhythm and form that you can learn that you don't know. And when you learn things there, what you get is tools. And what tools give you is a choice. And what choice means is that you can be intentional. Now, why would you even want to be intentional? What's, what's the point in there? Well, well, music, in my opinion, has two sides, essentially. Okay, it has the side of music for music's sake, where you're just making music because you enjoy making music. Making music for music's sake. And that is most of music, okay? That is most of the music I make, it's most of the music you make, it's most of the music everybody makes. The other side is expression. Expression is the, is the kind of like popular, idolized side of music, uh, perhaps, that um, is, you know, telling a story, conveying an emotion kind of a thing. Here's the deal, if, if the fun music, if music for music's sake is all you wanna do, you don't really actually need music theory, right? You just make stuff and it sounds good and you're like, yay, it sounds good. If you want to go for the emotion, if you want to go for the expression, the story, you actually really want music theory. Because again, it gives you that choice. It gives you those tools that can let you be intentional. So let's, let's say you play something like this. Was that emotional? Yeah, I think it was. I think, did you think it was? I, I thought it was emotional, right? Was it expressive? Hmm, maybe. It was expressive of something. It was sad. It was sad, I guess, right? But, but human emotion, I feel, maybe, is a little bit more nuanced than just sad and happy. You know, like, oh, I played in a major key and I played fast. Oh, I played in a minor key and I played slow. You know, it's more nuanced than that, I think. And so, music theory, again, is where you're going to get the tools to create that nuance. And to tell a story. I feel like that's really the, the place where music theory shines, is in telling a story. Because you can craft almost every element of the music to fit exactly what you want. You have this vision and you have this story in mind, and you can fit every note, every rhythm every sound to that story. Whereas if you don't know music theory, it's a lot harder to do that. Music theory is kind of like grammar, you know, like a lot of people don't like grammar. They don't like learning it and they think it's unnecessary or whatever, but it allows you to say what you want to say more clearly. And it's the same exact thing with music theory. Music theory allows you to express what you want to express more clearly. Thank you so much for watching. Um, yeah, again, I just really wanted to convey that music theory is not rules. It doesn't make you a machine. It opens your horizons. And yeah, I mean, I personally find music theory enjoyable just for itself. Just seeing all the dots connect, it just is enjoyable for me. And, and seeing like, can I, how many ways can I approach this, this relationship between these two chords? Like, I can approach it from the circle of fifths, or I can look at it from like the chromatic movement, or I can look at it from I don't know, something else, chordal harmony, what does it fit, how does it fit in chordal harmony or whatever. Um, 
I don't know, just like random stuff, right? But, you know, seeing all the dots connect is really enjoyable for me. I guess, I guess that I'm lucky in that way because I actually enjoy music theory and a lot of people don't, but music theory is at least somewhat useful to every musician and I hope I helped the world see that at least a little bit. So, there you go. Um, learn music theory, don't stay inside of it, and peace. I don't say that. That's not me. Um, see you next video. Bye.